In this demonstration, we are going to use a Wedge Plus from the counter range and two models from the plug range, the NeoPixel and the screen. Here, we are interfacing the devices with Home Assistant. We use the built-in package ESP Home to configure the devices for our purposes. There are many ways to integrate these devices into many different platforms. This is just a popular combination that we chose for this demonstration. We have set up the three SHT31 climate sensors to give both an average temperature and an average humidity, but we're only interested in the average temperature in this example. Therefore, with this setup, not only have we got three sensors to give a good average value in the room, but we also have three additional locations where we can change the target temperature. If we update the target temperature in Home Assistant, the three devices update to display the new value. Similarly, using any dial will update the other two devices and also the Home Assistant. The NeoPixel displays the value by lighting up appropriately given its range from a single blue LED representing 10 degrees C and fully lit up representing 30 degrees C. Here it is 20. The screens aren't reserved for the climate control alone, they can also be programmed to display the time with a short press of the dial. And with a long press of the dial you can toggle the climate control's power power state can easily be seen at the top line of each screen. Furthermore, each device can indicate alerts such as a doorbell. In this example we've configured the button on the counter wedge plus to act as a doorbell and instructed the NeoPixel to act like Kit from Knight Rider when somebody is at the door. The code for the configuration of both Home Assistant and ESP Home used in this demonstration can be found on GitHub. Links to everything can be found on our website at ioios.io.